G'day guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so what I want to do today is something um, that we're on a little bit of a time constraint, so I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. But simply put, there is a couple of AI bases I want to go ahead and loot up. So, you know, that's what we're going to do today. So I just want to make sure that I have everything that I sort of need to sort of get the job done, which to be honest, I think I may. Um, I may just grab a couple of those things there and just see how we go. And um, yeah, see exactly what's going on with these two bases here. Now, I'm not too sure what's going on with these bases, so I just want to have a bit of a quick squeeze before we get right into it. So let's head over here. And I think it's this one here that I really want to check out first, which is um, Imp's base. Before I do that, just want to make sure that I have sufficient amount of um, fuel for transportation. I think I do, so we should be right with that. So let's go ahead and race over there and just have a bit of a look. Now, with these bases here, these are obviously time based now. Um, now, I'm not too sure if. Um, okay, bases disappear over time. Be careful during the raid. The owner of the ranch might be home. So, Corapel has some information about um, new bases. You can go find her in the saloon. You know what? I'm just going to head in anyway. Don't care what's going on. But by the looks of things, I think they have already reset with the update in mind. So, unfortunately, we may not be able to loot the old version of the base, which is a little bit annoying. But I just want to have a quick look and see what's going on and you know, have a bit of a case out on the base here. It looks very similar to the original one. So if we can, let's see if we can sort of make our way in, which it doesn't appear that we can. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and loop these over here. And we've got to be mindful of things like traps and things like that around the base as we're sort of going around them. So there are a few things that we need to sort of uh, consider. So actually, this looks to be an open base from what I can see here, but there doesn't seem to be a point of entry that we can sort of um, get our way through. Now let's have a look. Okay, this may have been the same. Okay. I don't know whether or not because it's already been opened beforehand, that I'm not too sure of, but it appears that we have the ability to sort of um, make our way in, which I think I did this, if I'm not mistaken. So this is where I think I remember I actually stopped. So okay, interesting, wow, they're all very bad pepper boxes there, so, oh, okay, um, nothing of interest around here, um, anything interesting there, well, you know what, a stack of that, I'm not going to say no to, required dy uh, dynamite, of course, Let's see what the table saw has here, yeah, I'll we'll take those, why not, while we're sort of at it, of course, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back home real quickly, obviously, and we are going to grab uh, some dynamite. I have been uh, stockpiling a little bit of dynamite, so hopefully, now that I am... Um... Okay. I'm not going to buy that, so... <laughs> I'm going to quickly race back home, because I figured that may have been the case, and I was kind of hopeful that that would have been the, the case here. Um, but everyone else seems to not have their little timers on, which is fine. So let's race over. And I'll grab all the dynamite that I have. Look, I may not need all of it, but I think this is probably something that I don't want to sort of make multiple trips on. So I'm just going to grab everything that I can possibly get my hands on and um, we'll head right back. So how are you guys enjoying the new update? Is it um, everything that you sort of wanted, um, not, or are you guys in between, or you guys are just happy that you guys are getting 
um, updates nonetheless. So let me know in the comments because I'll be interested to know your thoughts about all this. Um, let me just grab that. So I'm hoping that this is going to be enough because this is all the dynamite that I possess. Um, and I hope that we don't have any sort of, um, you know, drawbacks. Uh, what I'll probably do in this situation is I'll just dr drop a few of these things there. Don't think I'll need the pickaxe, but I'm just going to hang on to it just in case. Um, jump over to the horsey here. Alright, let's feed him up. And pop some of that back in. And there we go. Just want to make full use of the oats. I don't really want to lose out on any sort of... Um, you know, miss opportunity with the oats there. So yeah, I won't, you know, spam it until I actually require, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well, especially when oats these days are a lot more harder to come by, compare that to um, older versions of the game. So yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, so I'm interested to know your thoughts about the new update. It was a hell of an update and Going back off the back of the previous video, I want to thank you guys so much for your support, kind words, everything else in between. Um, I think we've got just a bit over a thousand views, so I'm really happy with that, um, especially that it was nearly an hour episode, um, or just on the hour really. So yes, thank you so much for, um, for watching the video, liking, hopefully you guys shared everything else in between. Um, but if you haven't yet, please check out the previous video, the big update of 0.15. Um, that'll be very much well appreciated. Alright, let's pop the dynamite there. Let's get out of there. Wait until that opens up. Now, I've been told that you need to do this a couple of times over, of course, just so you can break down. There we go. So we've got full accessibility into the base here. So let's check out exactly what is about um, that we have. Ooh, okay, so we've got some steel. So really good shout. Let's open up this. We've got some maple. Let's get out of there got the furnace I think it is I'm just gonna start grabbing things guys so I just want to see what we can get our hands on um, anything and everything obviously helps there's a big chest over there and I really want to get that chest so I'm gonna have to sort of try and find a way to break into that a very broken uh, Lamut um, what do we have here yeah okay I'll take the grindstone why not let's open up this and see what we've got here um, yeah, no, I'm not going to grab any of those. So we'll leave those alone. Kind of hoping that... Ooh, wow, I didn't realise I had all this here. Uh, um, okay. Okie dokie, so I'm going to have to make a call on this. I think I might take that and grab that. And um, oak. Yeah, I really want to grab all of this. Wow. Um, okay, so this may warrant me coming back actually so <clears throat> something that I wasn't really anticipating to be honest with you um, okay so let's pop the dynamite there let's run away pop and let's do one more and get out of the way very good and let's see what's in here oh yes Oh, yes, thank you so much. Um, oh, yeah. And I've got a few of those. A fishing rod? Yeah, okay. Um, I've got a few days before I can pick everything up. So, I'm actually happy with what I've just found. That SW Model 2, oh, my God. I've already got one. That's my second. So, if you guys haven't actually rated this base in full, I suggest that you guys um, check it out and loot because yeah you really don't want to miss out on this oh my god there's a lot of bron uh, bronze I need to come back here there's gonna be a few trips that I need to do this is absolutely nuts um, what's in here um, a whole lot of uh, scrap metal there you know what there's just stacks upon stacks of this so um, it may be warranted that I might, might just grab them I'm not sure but uh, what's in this? Nothing here. Let's break open this. Um, okay. And what's in here? And, oh yes. Okay. Coming back for those for sure. And you sort of kind of... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Um, 
yeah, just insane. You sort of don't actually see some of these um, uh, these loot chests here on their own kind of thing. So I sort of tend to sort of run past them, I guess, and you don't really sort of see them. Um, but now that you sort of look on the minimap there, you may as well, I mean, now that you look at them, ooh, what has he got? Um, obviously he's got none of the above. You can't really take those out, so you can't really do much about them. And I've got that little box over there that I might want to open up, so we may just do, do just that. Um, as we sort of uh, make our way out of here. There wasn't anything in here. I just want to sort of really quickly run around here and just see what's available. I'll grab some of that charcoal. Absolutely. Um, what's in here? Nothing. And I just want to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything uh, key. Uh, the well. Let's just open that up. Okay, so... Let's just take what we can for now and open up that, awesome, and I can't really get out of there so I'm going to have to go back the way that I came, and I'm going to de-loot the whole lot, that's, oh, that's, that's amazing. But what I probably might want to do is, actually I'm just thinking about it now, do I want to go over to this guy over here and just see what that's all about as well? I think we might because that might be a good idea. And then at least that way, if I don't need any of the dynamite, we can um, drop everything else back home, go back in. I'm going to have to do multiple trips as it is anyway, but at least um, I've got some more inventory room that I can play with. So yeah, that's basically where what I'm thinking at this stage. So let's go ahead and just uh, munch on a few bits and pieces. And let's see what we've got over here. I think this looks like that's already been compromised that I've opened up uh, the space here. So it really looks like that we don't um, have anyone that we need to worry about uh, NPC wise. So pretty much if you guys have actually got the timer on this, I think you should be able to freely run through uh, these respective bases and just grab a few things uh, without the threat of anyone sort of attacking you kind of thing so um, let's just uh, race through around here just want to make sure that I've got everything covered and then we can sort of head back and grab all of that goodness uh, no 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 you don't need to do that okay fine you want to break down a wall break down a wall mate you, you do you do you yeah uh, let's just take the charcoal while we're at it. Um, to be honest, there's really not much going on around here, so I'm not really um, worried about what's here. So I may as well just leave it all here because there's really literally nothing at all. Just double checking, you know. You sort of you sort of talk your way through a lot of these things, and then you you find that you just miss out on. You know a few bits and pieces so just do the right thing of course and just make sure that you got all all the right um, places checked and everything else has been looked at double checked and if you need to possibly it's over here uh, possibly triple checked if you need to so it looks like we're right so I'm gonna head back home De-loot, I've got to find some places, I've got to drop all this loot, this is going to be insane, I don't know where to sort of drop this off. Um, but good thing is, we didn't need to go to the uh, the saloon and speak to that lady there to find some information about the bases, because in my case, I was able to um, um, go through it because I've already looted the place. So, with that being said, moving forward, if you're going to one of these bases and look, let me know if any of the other NPC bases have their timers reset if you've already visited them or if they do have a timer on them once you visit them let me know because um, it not only it'll help me but it'll help everyone else um, that might be curious about the whole situation so um, again um, what I was thinking with this is once everything has been um, successfully looted and everything's reset I think you probably want to go to the saloon and I think that might be a good opportunity for you guys to check everything out, see what the information that that 
um, that NPC gives you. And depending on what that costs you, because I'm assuming informations are not free, so you probably want to make sure that you've got the right um, resources available so you can, uh, you know, pay, I guess, um, your way through. And obviously, um, you don't obviously pay your win, but you obviously just pay via your resources, of course. So, um, but otherwise, let's quickly drop everything else that I've got here off. Looks like we've done everything that we need to have done there, so that's good. And I think I might drop that and that off, and actually that, because I don't think I'm going to need it, to be honest with you. And I may come over to Horsey here and grab that, because I'm going to need the extra inventory slots, so I just need to find some suitable, um, here we go, suitable space, and to be honest, I think I might just drop these off here for now, because I think my guy is good for, for the meantime, actually what I might do is, is it this one, it is, I might just use one, perfect, and I think we are good with food and thirst, and let's head back. Now, I was going to do another video, um, and I think one of my, um, uh, one of the guys who commented on my last video had mentioned that I um, should do this. So I think I might. So this will be um, regarding the spirit cave. Now, I know it's easy to run into the spirit cave if you've got, you know, things like uh, steel, um, well, not steel so much, but uh, tier four, let's say tier four um, weapons. So like guns and things like that. And I think it might be a good idea now that we've had a massive update and a bit of a rebalance structure with the implementation of blueprints. Um, you can actually go through, oh, you know what I should have done? Oh no, I, I should be able to get in here. That's all right, that's okay. All good, all good, all good. Okay, we're good. Um, I might just take the planks and I'll take that with me, why not? So yeah, I may, um, oh, no, 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 go this one. Open up this, there we go. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might go and do a spirit cave run and only because we might um, use, you know, lesser tier weapons. So possibly, you know, we might do um, tier three, so we might do a bit of iron based weaponry. So, you know, for example, I've got the, the Remington, oh, I had the Remington on me, but I don't at the moment. So, that might be a good idea to, you know, to use those type of weapons and give you guys, obviously, a bit of an idea on, um, you know, how well you may fare up if you were to run the zone with, you know, T3. So, I think that might be a good idea that I was thinking about. And possibly, you know, depending on how, how we sort of look at things, I might even do, you know, maybe tier two, tier one, um, and obviously tier four. Who knows? Um, it's just an idea that I'm kicking around. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you guys sort of benefit from something like that? Um, so yeah, if you guys do, I probably most likely end up doing it. To be honest with you, and at least we can, um, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Honestly, when I when I did this initially, and I did this ages ago, I completely forgot what type of loot that I left behind. And I'm so glad that I've come back here, especially with this timer that's happening, um, that I can grab just about everything, which is great. So I'm just gonna head back to the horsey. We'll go ahead and drop off a few things here that we've got going on, and leave you that and I'll just grab bits and pieces and then we'll head back and then I'll drop everything off because wow there is so much good loot to grab um, yeah you guys definitely need to make sure that you've got all of this goodness I think I might just clear the whole lot out so we'll quickly head back I'll grab um, the rest of this in a moment and then we'll probably call it a video I guess because I think this was, was um, pretty successful if you don't mind what I saying so yeah, I think I rather enjoyed it, but yeah, um, I think I might make a little, I don't know, maybe like a little mini series. It will take some time with the Spirit Cave 
and I don't know. I've been thinking about it, and to be honest, to be perfectly honest with you, Spirit Cave should not be attempted if you've got nothing at all, if you're bare knuckled, or if you've got like a wooden club and very little armor, obviously, it, it's just no. So, I would probably think maybe, depending on what type of, um, or how powerful some of these weapons are, but we could always look at maybe tier 2, tier 3. Uh, style weapons and see how well we can um, you know survive on that before it becomes a problem um, that might be something that we could look at as a you know as, as a possibility that that's something I was thinking about and then but obviously t4 t4 is t4 we know we can sort of run zones quite easily with a lot of t4 weapons so it all just comes down to you know how you sort of um, utilize those obvious, um, obvious weapons so yeah um, Alright, let's just grab, take that in, take that in, and I'm just sort of trying to do a bit of management as you can see, so let's just drop all of that, um, I'll drop that off there, and do I have any space over here, yes I do, great, and these oil lamps, where do I want to chuck these guys, I have absolutely no idea, I, I really need to expand and grab, um, more resources so I can upgrade all these chests here so that's something I really need to do. Um, base wise um, as you guys can see I've actually made a zero progress on the the base but I am working on it I have been looking at some design options and things like that so um, haven't really come to a finalization on what I want um, so that hasn't happened yet but I'm hoping I can get that wrapped up pretty soon and at least this way, um, you know, we can just have a bit of a building video because I really want to do a building video for you guys. Um, I haven't done one in quite a long time. So yeah, I figured that might be something that you guys might be interested in. So let me know in the comments um, down below. I'll be really interested to know. And aside from that, we have the last run, I'm hoping, because I'm hoping that I've got enough inventory for the last run here and we can you know, finish this off for today. All right, let's jump through and wait for this fellow to load in, of course. But yeah, I'm really happy with the new update. I'm happy with everything that's happened, uh, especially when I was running through it the first time on on my previous video. It was just insane. The the tier four, or sorry, the red zones are proper zones. They are proper hardcore now and they are a lot harder to do you do need a lot more resources now to actually go through them so yeah it's um it's really really good so i'm really happy with what they've done with all of that um uh, the whole redesign with everything it was um simply amazing so um worth the wait in my opinion worth the wait all right so i'll just grab what i can Oop. Uh, just over here. <clears throat> Is there anything around the corner here? I'm just looking on the minimap as I'm sort of running along this area here. To be honest, you know, any anything that's you know not considered as normal, like the fibers there, or just basic stone, I'm just gonna leave. All this crap, I don't know. Let's take it anyway as it is. If I don't want it, I can always get rid of it. Um, I'm gonna leave that behind again. Like I said, there's just things that I don't need. The pepper boxes, are, are they worth the time? No, because you can still make them. And I don't know. I just don't feel like I should really sort of take them with me. Okay, so we're full. Um, is there anything that I can grab while I've got everything here in front of me so I don't have to make more than a few multiple trips? Okay, nothing there. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. And of course, uh, nothing there. Okay, I completely missed this chest. Oh, God. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, I, I, need, to, I need to make another run, guys. You know what, I'll, I'll do that in my own time, but I'll just grab a few more things and then I think we'll um, call it a video. Um, as much as I want to keep doing that, I don't think you guys want to stick around and, and watch me just 
you know, uh, commute in between my base and, and home. Sorry, um, base and here, I should say. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So, look, let me know in the comment section what you think about um, the Spirit Cave suggestion there. Uh, let me know because I'll be interested to know exactly, you know, where your thoughts are with it. And if you guys um, really want me to do something like that, I would definitely, um, well, consider, but also potentially do because I think I'll be really, really interested in getting that um, all sorted out. Um, as always, guys, make sure you hit the old like button there. Comment down below. Um, also, uh, share the video if you can, guys. That would be really helpful and more so um, for more people to actually um, you know, discover the channel, enjoy my content as well and everything else in between. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, hitting the no uh, notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, I think that's it. I'm going to head out of here and I shall catch you guys next time.